I am back, I am back, I am back, I am back, I am back. From off of the road. There again, there again. Oops. Uh. Beer rain. Beer rain and breeze. Damn. Beer rain and breeze are gone. Logging, 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 logging. We have a quick one hour reasoning before I go to sleep. I was trying to go to the studio, but my voice gone. Come like two minutes, get enough sleep. So, um, could try a shot with an hour. Alright? Big reasoning, big reasoning, big reasoning, big reasoning coming up. If it's a cool star. Kick TV, what do you think about the new Shensia song? Yo, yo, right now, we need a whole new discussion about Shensia song, bro. No, so don't come. You know, sir. Yo, please don't ask me about. Please do. Make foot type to about that, yeah, Because, I know the conversation is going to be about the way for girls and the whole, whole sodomy in the video. I okay, know that it's going to be the conversation. I um, think some more, more than if it is because I don't promote, promote LGBTQ community. I don't promote, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not interested in promoting the LGBTQ people. They can't do enough to promote themselves. I don't want to promote them. You know. So people are going to really focus on that and the true message. What well, if talk about now, I'm going to talk about it. So I'm not going to bother to talk about it. Because people are going to beat me. I'm going to really talk about it. I don't want to waste my energy on that. I don't want to waste my energy on that. Trust me. I already, me already said my piece, but as you know, so I don't really like, I really like to talk about the artist project, especially when they just release it, because they put so much into it to release it, and so much work into them project, where, or some artists put so much work into them project, so I don't really want to be the one out of the box that try to say nothing negative about them project. So, I will talk about it another time. Later down, I will not know what I think about it. But for now, I don't know what to say. Moji, what do you want? How do you want? How do you want, want Moji? So as if I ever try shrooms, what is shrooms? I sound like Zoom. <laughs> what is shrooms? All right, so two, one minute and the, and the bus gone, you know. Who not catch it, not catch it, who, who not catch it, recheck it. And um, when I do the videos, if you don't see them on my 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 um proof my um profile they they're in the Mr. Vegas TV so you can check the Mr. Vegas TV right so you can look into that Kim Banks can't blame coffee on integrity of the music bigger than that can't blame coffee dance and music I lose its integrity from before that way yeah, before that Thirty seconds. So who they are just wanna see it, you know? The rocky ride. Who know why you will talk about them artists? Time for you leave if you're upset when we talk about pedo. Pedo boy, time for you leave. Cause we I go talk about him. So no matter wait until we start here getting your feelings, so leave from now. You see? Now, um, we come across a very interesting article, see? Where is the lady? We come across a very interesting article. Alright, I'm a thing, sir. 
the people that are share the article, the people that are sharing the article, more, 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 um, more educated upon what they don't understand about what's going on with the article. Now, according to a report in the Jamaica Star, Japan, Japan losing interest in dancehall. Mighty Crown co-founder points to various issues. Right? We know Japanese sound owner, sound system pioneer Samiti of Mighty Crown believes that despite his country's love affair with reggae and dancehall for more than four decades, the recent change in the music has resulted in a loss of interest. Why we come out here, sir? I mean, if you go inside, you know, I need to go inside, it's too loud. Let me read that again. We know Japanese sound system pioneer Samiti of Mighty Crown believes that despite his country's love affair with reggae and dancehall for more than four decades, the recent change in the music has resulted in a loss of interest. I can't tell you what I say. Many of the artists and songs that are big in Jamaica are not big in Japan at all. Because as the music change, we have lost a lot of interest. The links have been broken, but it's still alive, he told the star. We are at the stage where we need to make reggae and dancehall more visible. But it is the responsibility of the artist to help the market continue forward. As it stands, the market needs to be rebuilt. Close quotation. The mighty Crown co-founder and selector expressed dismay at the rates that the artists who have been established themselves on Jamaica, who have established themselves on Jamaican soil, but do not have a following in Japan, are charging. Japan has been a huge supporter of reggae dancehall community for decades, but the fees which some of these artists are charging to perform here will only further damage the growth. It is important for the artists to come to Japan to do their groundwork, tour our country, promote their music better and develop themselves in the marketplace before charging so much money. That is what the veterans did to build reggae in Japan in the first place, Samiti exclaimed. He further explained that high pricing and low pull power is hurting the reggae dancehall community in Japan. He also argued that another reason the reggae dancehall industry in Japan is not doing as great as it used to is because many newer, many newer sound systems born in the country need mentorship and education on the culture. May I read that again? Japan is not doing as great as it used to is because many newer sound systems born in the country need mentorship and education of the culture. So he's talking about the newer sound system in Japan. So make note of that. Although Mighty Crown announced its retirement, mentorship is something the, operate, the operators are keen on. Japan has a lot of talented sound systems, tons of them. Make note. But mentorship and exposure is critical in their development. And now, in terms of the growth of the music, we need to regain or earn the attention of the newer consumers of the music. This is important because there are so many other genres of music in Japan that are distracting the youth, Samiti offered. Home quotation, our mission has always been to bring the real authentic Jamaican music and culture to Japan and present it in its rarest form. But we recognize a lot has changed in the street, in the interest, excuse me. It is true to know that we made persons proud in the industry and community because it was our ambition to be part of the reggae dancehall culture and help it to grow. And we did just that as persons embraced us. He continued. So, my inference of this is Samiti from Mighty Crown is saying, um, the new artists that are charged too much money and... Um,
God, I need to I need to go inside. But my charge through my can my phone need charging, so I'm gonna plug it right there. So, so what I must say basically is he must say the newer artists them charging too much money. Zane and um and the new sound systems in Japan no one is mentoring them. Basically, they need mentorship from the Jamaican selector. Them. That 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 all me me, me info from the world. High price and mentorship for the Japanese sound them. Zin? No. Big up to Mighty Crown. Big up to Mighty Crown. Big up to Chin. All right. Coming out of the industry and them cement themselves as one of the big sound them. One of the, the, the top sounds them. The mighty crown. The selector them learn. The um the dialect. Them learn how to speak the the, 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 the patois. Them in my view get some amount of favoritism from the Especially the diaspora because you know when when somebody come into our culture and, uh, and, and basically Express Themselves the way how we express ourselves You know they might go get some likings from the people them because we find it fascinating that a white man can speak patwa We find it fascinating that a Japanese can speak patwa So we always we, we more time give them You know a level of you know some form of Appellation or adoration, you understand? Me, I say we, we, we basically reverence them. You see, me, I say reverence them. You see? The, the, the dichotomy of that is though, when we try speak English, if we don't speak it properly, the white man laugh off a we. You understand? But when anybody come in our culture and try to speak like us, even if they don't do it good, we rate them. And that's a beautiful thing because. We see them a try and we find it funny, you know? So they a try. But in, in a work like that in other. Like if you go to France and you know Fran French people them love to tell you, oh you have to speak French, you have to speak French. You know. And them correct you if you're speaking it, you know, if you're not speaking it properly. Yeah. So they're not really give you a, a trophy if you're not speaking it properly. But of course you know say so, you know, black people, we have that little sharing spirit there. You know, one of our greatest attributes is to share. You see what I said? That's why we're so connected with nature because, you know, one of the elements and one of the, the, the elements in what nature is basically to share. See? So, so Mighty Crown kind of build them name by learning. Police well, not lock up my man, they don't care, man. Because it's a very important reason in this, you know. JQ so, so Mighty Crown they make them name basically by learning learning the things them um, and it work for them they learn the culture they learn the things them they learn the way of life and it work for them but more and take the conversation somewhere where everybody may be afraid to take it yeah somewhere beyond we samiti I say. Something we more um what we, we should really point out. See? Because what I believe Sami is pointing out is basically just the surface. But there is something that nobody don't want to talk about. Because of course you may talk about it and get blacklisted and you, you know you may offend people. Zin? But you can't share half truth when you go speak and dance all our reggae music, you have to share the truth in full. Now I've been to Japan a few times. And I remember going when I used to go to Japan. I realized the Japanese people them love 
the dancehall reggae and the dancehall artist them and the reggae artist them from Jamaica them the, the, the artist them from Jamaica they bring a crazy vibe to Japan undeniable vibe you go back and you watch Ninja Man and you watch um, Tiger on stage in Japan it's like people are go crazy if you go and you watch Mr. Vegas performing at Mighty Crown's anniversary or Elephant Man performing at Mighty Crown's anniversary you see the people them going crazy them love it when we when we got when I went to Japan when we performed in the clubs when we performed in Okinawa when we performed in, in Ottawa the people them go crazy by just the sound of the music See? And what I realized with the Japanese people, them, they love authentic reggae. R like them love reggae. Like if we go to Japan and you like I went to Japan and some reggae songs that I did that I didn't even remember the songs them. I didn't remember the song them and they were like, yo, them songs you're big in Jamaica, like beautiful. You're so beautiful in every single way. Words can get you down. I was like, yo, big tune of Japan. Remember me, a little youth, people like, um, what's name? Papa Beto, Trilla U. I remember Trilla U used to, like, you see, we used to see, um, videos. Of Trilla you in Japan and him just a tear down the place. King of Japan. Papa Beto. Big in Japan. Some man will never have no big name in a Jamaica. Big in Japan. Because they bring the original dance hall rhythm with them. See? No. When you type in Japanese reggae artist in a Google, see? When you type in Japanese reggae artist in a Google, you are going to see names like Push Him. See? I have to go inside because I'm going to get worse. I'm get worse. Let me say I have enough charge. One second. Yeah, sorry about that. I couldn't deal with that noise there. I promise you. I was shouting. I was, it was killing me. All right. So, when you look up, when you look up, um, Japanese reggae artists, see? You see some name, like Pushing, Fireball, Zin, you see some name like Ninja Man or Nanja Man, but you know Nanja Man basically is Ninja Man them really. You know, Nanja Man, Ninja Man. Why is that important? I remember when I went to Japan like the second time. I heard about pushing, pushing. A female artist. And when you check out Push Him, Push Him came to Jamaica. And she got the production from Jamaica. But when I, when I did my observation, I realized that none of the artists from Jamaica was bigger than Push Him. See? I said, hmm. When I check out the push him status in Japan as a reggae artist, she's bigger than the Jamaican artist then. Hmm. T.O.K. was huge in Japan. 
When I look, I see a group name Fireball. We have the same makeup like TOK. When we go to the stage shows them, we see the Japanese artists them, basically, a, a mimic the Jamaican artists them. Nothing no wrong with that, you know. You see? Because we don't look on it and I say, boy, I rate them, rate the artists them, why them would I want to? Mimic them. You see, man, a Japan, a DJ like Ninja Man. Based on what we observe. You see? But here we go up now. You see when them start? When they started to do the reggae festivals in Japan, they started inviting less and less Jamaican artists to the festivals there because now them have the Japanese artists them to put on the festivals them. So a Japanese reached out to me to come do one of the festivals them. So I said, talk to Adrian, and Adrian told her a price. She said, no, 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 no. We know, we know. We, we want, you, you need promotion. You need promotion. This is after I did nearly 20 years in other music, you know. The Japanese woman, I tell me, said, no, 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 no. You, you, you need promotion. You need promotion. You have album coming. You have album coming. You need promotion. So I was like, huh? What? So what Sammy T not tell you, Sammy T not telling you that it is not so much about the new artists them charging a bag of money. It's the fact that the reggae festivals them in a Japan don't need the Jamaican artists them anymore because we don't have our own reggae artists. We learn the thing over the years. So we want to create a whole industry. We want to don't need we anymore. This whole thing about we don't appeal to the Japanese them anymore is nonsense. Elephant man still have the good music. The artists them with the Japanese them love but still have the good music. And Japanese people are not trying to like run down every new song will come out. When you go, when we go to Japan, we hear some reggae songs we do long time, still a play. So it's not like the Japanese them. The Japanese are like the Europeans where you still see Max Romeo and those people still touring in Europe. You still have the great performers them. We not charge the money where you are talking about Sammy. But you don't need them. Because we don't have a whole industry. We want to build. Off the back. Of dance hall and reggae from Jamaica. The live reconnecting. You make your body. When I eat that live at this evening, man. When I hear my start, sure. Lady, are you hear me good? That is can mess up, you know. Chant it good. So what Samiti from Mighty Crown is not telling you. He might tell you half truth or quarter truth. When was the last time Mr. Vegas go to Japan? Samiti, remember the last time I came to Japan was on Mighty Crown's anniversary. Go back and watch it. It's on YouTube. You want to tell me that the Japanese people them don't want to hear no real dancehall artist anymore all of a sudden? No. Before the emergency, before the, 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 um, the, 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 
excuse me, before the influx of, of new talent, enter the space like the Skeng, them and the Shensia, them and all of these artists. How many dancehall artists y'all took to Japan to perform on the festivals? Y'all are the, a whole industry. There's a whole reggae industry in Japan where they don't need us anymore. It has nothing to do really with what no art is charging. In my view, the promoters them for the festivals shut out the dancehall artists and the reggae artists from Jamaica. Sometimes them take a little one artist or them take a little two artists. But the majority on the lineup is Japanese artists that learned the music went back to Japan, became big stars and replaced the T.O.K.'s, replaced the Vegas's, replaced the Elephant Man's, replaced the Ninja Man's, replaced the Vibes Cartel them, replaced everybody. Type in Japanese artist. Yeah, Moomin, push him, his Tommy. J-Rex, Ruid, Makoto, Nejaman, um, Koto Bunki, Natural, what, Minmi, Min Berry Goodman, Papa B, Bantifoot, Peter Man, Red Sniper, Ken Yu, she she Shehan, Boy Ken, Sister Kea, Mighty Jamrak, that was the sound, Mikey Rich, Joystick, you know Nakia our boy from long time, Metis, Fireball, you see? What if ranking, ranking taxi our, our, our people from long time, Sabrina Suzuki, he's a reggae artist, you know? Joe Yama, Yama, Yamanaka, um, Lekka, Ryo the Skywalker, Chosen Lee, Baghdad Cafe, Mighty Crown, Shannon, Dry and Heavy, um, Akini, Jagatara, Infinity 16, Kenty Grove. Well, the list goes on. You don't need we. Y'all don't need us. Anymore. You don't learn the thing. Uno have no one, uno have no reggae festivals them. With maybe one or two, if so much. Artists from Jamaica. Well, maybe it's a business decision like, yo, it's cheaper to use the art, the homegrown artists them. Because of flights, because plane ticket get more expensive and them things there. But don't make it sound like there's, and him, you know, a major concern with the music. You know, the music, you know, the artists, them charging too much and... No, don't come with that narrative, Samity. Because you know that the festivals in Japan, they no longer book most of the reggae artists, them from Jamaica. That was not the case. Back in the days when I hear about Japan Splash, it's like, as a youth where I try getting a music and you hear about Japan Splash and you see the lineup. The lineup on Japan Splash back in the days. You would think it's Reggae Sunfest. You would think it's, you would think it's a Jamaica show.